This is a harrowing story of a three-man crew who faced a deadly situation while at sea. The captain shares their story and how they were saved. It all started about three weeks ago when a three-man crew from San Diego was chartered to bring a yacht down to its owner in Cabo San Lucas for the Bisbee's fishing tournament. Keep whining, Doc. Keep whining. On our first day, we caught a marlin, so the expectations were going very well. Cody, forward, Cody. Cody Kessel is a boat captain, and his two crewmates were also captains, James Fisher and Jared Tippett. They didn't win the three-day tournament, but they had a great time. Two days into their long journey back to San Diego, Captain Jared noticed smoke quickly filling the engine room. There was too much smoke. He couldn't breathe. He couldn't see. He had to get out of there. Cody quickly turned off the engines and pulled the fire suppression switch, but the smoke kept billowing, and they realized it was coming from the generator. The noise was preposterous. The smoke was preposterous. It was putting out more power than it could handle, and there was no stopping it. It was pretty helpless. Five minutes later, half the boat was in flames, and they couldn't access the life raft or the dinghy, so the three of them scrambled off the boat with a one-person kayak. We were afraid of an explosion, so we swam away from the boat. The flames were probably about 100 feet high. There was smoke. They were just north of Mac Bay, about 60 miles from any land, with no food or water. Scary. We were in the middle of nowhere. After an hour in the water, watching the yacht burn, a commercial fishing boat, the Progresso 1, saw the smoke and headed over. They threw us a life ring. We got on their boat, and immediately they gave us food, they gave us water, they gave us clothes. They, they saved our lives. Without these guys, we would have been in the water overnight with no food, no water, no provisions. It was windy. The swells were high. Cody and crew had lost everything, so Captain Alex of the Progresso 1 offered the cash he had on hand and his personal debit card. A complete and total stranger that he just picked up in the middle of the ocean. He gave every penny that he had. Captain Kessel says, you never know when it's going to be your time, but he's glad this wasn't his. I'm looking at my daughter here behind the camera, and I'm thinking about my son back at home, and, and without these guys, there was no guarantee that we would have made it back to our family. Brian White, CBS 8.